Yo, Sports Solar Man, checking in for Ain't That A Truth. Look, I'm going to read a little something. I'm going to say a little something. Keep it simple. Real simple. This is Psalm 18. I'm going to read a couple verses. Let's make a point. How I love you, Lord. You are my defender. The Lord is my protector. He is my strong fortress. My God is my protection. My God is my protection. And with him, I am safe. With him, I am safe. He protects me like a shield. He defends me and keeps me safe. I check this out. It says, I call to the Lord and he saves me from my enemies, right? And the danger of death was all around me. The waves of destruction rolled over me. The danger of death was around me and, and the grave set its trap for me. In my trouble, I called to the Lord. I called to my God for help. In his temple, he heard my voice. He listened to my cry for help. Then the earth trembled and shook. The foundations of the mountains rocked and quivered because God was angry. Smoke poured out of his nostrils, a consuming flame and burning coals from his mouth. All right. So now, right? So while God's still mad, uh, because of one of his, his own, you know what I'm saying, called to him, you know what I'm saying, when he was in trouble, right? Now it says in verse 13, it says, then the Lord, he thundered from the sky and the voice of the most high was heard. He shot his arrows and scattered his enemies. With flashes of lightning, he sent them running. Now, focus on these two verses. Verse three, it says, I call to the Lord and he saves me from my enemies, right? Okay, now, in that same vein, right? Then the Lord thundered from the sky and the voice of the Most High was heard. He shot his arrows and scattered his enemies. So, okay, this is the point right here. When you belong to the Father, when you belong to the Most High, through his son Jesus, your enemies become his off the muscle. And all you gotta do is just call. And how you call? From yourself, you ain't gotta get no phone. You ain't got to call nobody else. You ain't got to relay no message. You ain't got to be put on hold. You don't have to do any of those things. You just call out and you can call out just from your heart. You ain't got to send it out your mouth because you might be in a position where you can't send it out your mouth because you might be high. You can just call out from your heart. You can call out from your mind. Why? Because when you belong to the Most High through His Son Jesus, you belong to Him. And when you belong to Him, He lives in you. So that's your phone. It was a rapper who just got killed. You know, so Julio Fulio. I ain't speaking on him. I don't even know nothing about him. I really, I ain't hear none of his music till after he died. You know what I'm saying? Cause I was just curious about, you know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck? You know what the beef was all about. All right, so, but then, in my little, my little short research and curiosity of who he was, it said that he, he turned to voodoo for help. He, he was dark. It's like he chose to answer the call from the darkness instead of answering the call from the light because all of us are called but only a few will be chosen why because you are chosen when you choose to answer the call to just believe bro and start from there now it also says in psalm 18 it says the lord he does right to those who does right he raises up the humble you know what i'm saying but he humbles the proud when you accept Christ, man, and you accept the Holy Ghost, he does the work on your heart. And that's how you know that it was real. And by default, if you really accept the Holy Ghost, you really accept God through his son, Jesus, specifically, you're going to change. Some people will be right then. Some people like me, it take a while and you got to work on you. All that matters is that it takes. So now this is the message. And I'm going to speak bluntly here. I'm going to speak like the old me. So why the fuck, you know what I'm saying, would you turn to voodoo for protection? Why the fuck would you 
or why the fuck would anybody choose to believe in the darkness for protection when that's the fucking enemy when that's the one who chasing you it may seem like he protect you for a while but he's only protecting you from himself why to get you to do his work and then after he done with you so who got played who gets played let me tell you something man y'all better start fucking around and this video is for somebody or some people see the world got god fucked up and the world thing god pussy <laughs> Uh, voodoo worshippers and all that other shit all them lesser gods they pussy you better believe <laughs> it wow guess who they scared of Good. just take a wild guess if you ain't slow guess who they scared of every evil spirit every spirit that's the opposite in nature to the most high his son jesus his Holy Spirit, guess who they bow the knee to and afraid of and have to get permission from to even operate? Guess who? Because if all this is true about Julio Fulio, and he really died for real, because some of them saying that he faked his death or whatever. Okay, I don't know. I don't give a damn. That's his business. That's between him and his God. Between his shows. And his name fits him. Fulio. Now, I ain't, I ain't coming down on him. It's a shame that he felt, you know what I'm saying, that he had to turn that way because everybody ain't taught. Everybody don't have the privilege, you know what I'm saying, to be cultivated in God. Everybody don't have the privilege to be raised up in God. I get that. In compassion, I make this video. I know it seems like serving God or being, I ain't gonna say serving God because we don't serve God. How the hell are you gonna serve the server? Let the greatest among you be the servant. And who is the greater between you and God? It's God, right? When you was born and you was being raised up, who is the greatest between you and your parent, your parent, right? So they bought all your school clothes. They had to feed you, right? So whoever your guardian was, whoever took the responsibility of raising you, it, it was a responsibility. Okay, it was a choice to serve you. I know it may seem like it's too hard to be served by the Most High. I know we have spirits down here, you know what I'm saying? That's anti-God, you know what I'm saying? That's anti-Christ, that's anti the Holy Ghost. I know that, and they ride us like we ride horses. Or they drive us like we drive cars. I get it. However, uh, this is a call to anyone who this is for who fought with the dark arts. You can repent. You can give God a chance. Even though God don't need your little funky ass, he desires you even that much more. Because we ain't nothing but a burden unto God. But he loves us that much. Even you who ride with his op. Even you who serve his op. See that's, mm. See, that's the difference between being served by God as opposed to serving his art. See, when you in God, you become a child and you can be a child so you can learn instead of burn. But when you ride, you know what I'm saying, with God's art, nigga, you got to serve. Bitch, you got to serve. And we ain't talking about volleyball, nigga. You got to serve his art. And then his art is going to be, it's always your art. That's why it costs you a body. Or that's why it costs you a spell. It costs you. And ultimately, it'll cost your ass an eternity in hell. When you with God, man, the most high through his son Jesus specifically. I'm speaking, I'm speaking about Jesus. That's my big brother. You ain't getting to God without Jesus, Holmes. I don't give a fuck. Hmm. Especially, especially if you in the darkness. Or you fuck with the dark arts, or you fuck with the you know the dark magic or whatever. So you especially ain't getting the God, you know what I'm saying, without Jesus. Cause you're gonna need somebody to break that bond off you. And the devil, once it's got his hold on you, he's gonna try to grip you, he's gonna lie to you, it's gonna do whatever to manipulate you. And your only hope is Jesus. It ain't no hope for you without Jesus, homes. Because what y'all fucking with, or what you fucking with, that dark shit, <laughs> they just gonna let you go like that. If the streets, if the dope game will ain't let you go like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you get real deep into the dope game, you can't just jump in that shit and jump out like that. You know what I'm saying? Once you get to a certain level, nigga, they fuck gonna kill the fuck out you, bro, because you're gonna end up, be, yeah, they gonna look at you like, shit, you 12 or not? When you join God's side, and the only thing you gotta do is ask. I don't give a fuck how deep 
and voodoo you are. I don't give a fuck how deep and dark magic you are. All you gotta do is ask God to show you what's the truth, bro. Allow God to prove himself to you and he will answer you. I ain't trying to tell nobody what to do, you know what I'm saying? Oh, this is just my opinion. But uh, within me, I know my opinion is the truth. And it doesn't matter who believes it or not. I ain't doing this for me. I'm straight. I'm straight. By the grace of God, I'm straight, bro. I humble myself and let him, you know what I'm saying, take me wherever he want me to go. Or be, you know what I'm saying, wherever he want me to be, whether if I like it or not. I sold my soul to the most high. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Selling your soul to the most high. You'll be protected. For real. And you ain't gotta get no objects. You ain't gotta kill no chickens. You ain't gotta do none of that bullshit. You ain't gotta you ain't gotta do none of that. Okay? When you sell your soul to the most high, because it's he is anyway. <laughs> yeah. It's he is anyway. Don't be like Julio Fulio. And be who the damn fool. When you say your soul to God through his son Jesus and get filled with his Holy Ghost, you Gucci. You Gucci. And I mean spiritually. I'm not talking about hey to my game what you want and in life and all that. I mean it may happen for you, it may not. I don't know. It depends on his purpose for your life. You know what I'm saying? And yet you're gonna suffer some. But you have to suffer some so God can trust you. In the same way, if you go on the street. Shit, nigga, you gotta put in some work. The real shit. And you don't put in no work. Shit, nigga, you don't trust you 12, nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You undercover cop out there. You know what I'm saying? So, if you sold your soul to the devil, then resell it to God. Because the devil, you can't sell your soul to the devil because it's not his. He didn't create it. It's only the property of the one who created it. Don't be a fool. Say your soul back to God and he'll take it. In the most worst form it is, why? Because he know how to fix it. He's the manufacturer. The same way with God. It's your boy Solomon. Tell you life ain't the truth already.